Today we're in Novi Sad, Serbia. So fun fact, Novi Sad was voted the European cultural capital of 2021. So unfortunately right now, Novi Sad is under partial lockdown with restaurants and bars closed. And to our understanding, that's a lot of the reason why they received that award. They have really great nightlife and really bumping restaurants. But today we're gonna go see what else there is to do in Novi Sad. So we're gonna take you out and see what we can find. First thing we're gonna go check out is what they refer to as the morning market. So it's a really large impressive covered market and we're just gonna go explore it. All right, let's see. Hey guys, the next thing we're checking out is the new park. It's the first nice day in forever. Yeah, so this park looks huge. So we're just gonna take a nice relax on a bench here and then we'll explore the rest of the park. Hey guys, next thing we wanted to show you was the main square called Liberty Square. So this area is gorgeous. It has really old pastel buildings all around it in a square, obviously. And one of the main things in this square is this right here, which is the name of St. Mary Church. Yeah, this area is really cool. Also, it's really bumping even with the restrictions in place and all the restaurants closed. Definitely seems like the place to hang out. Yeah, when we went here the other night and just quickly walked through, there was so many people, probably even more than now. Seems to be the local hangout spot. Hey guys, we're gonna stop at our favorite ice cream place. It's just off of Liberty Square. They have a bunch of really interesting flavors. So we're gonna go check them out and show you guys. One scoop of lemon mint and a cup. Okay guys, so we're just kind of sitting on the curb here. All of the benches are completely taken because it's such a busy area. We got our ice cream. I got one that is, what is it? It's lemon mint. It's so good. It's our, definitely our favorite. We had it the other night. It tastes like a mojito guys. It's crazy. And it's like icy. So good. And Noah also got a strawberry one. And it's like fresh strawberries, you can tell. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so the next place we are going to show you was Danavska Street, but we realized we actually walked down it already. So we'll roll some of those clips now. And there's one other place we want to show you guys. So let's go. Hey guys, so we just found this really, really cool place the other day when we were walking around and wanted to show it to you. So it's this really cool street. We looked it up on Google Maps. It's called Nyegosheva. <laughs> I don't think that's right. It right. I think it is close. We'll put it on the screen so that you can actually find it. And it has a lot of outdoor seating, really cool areas. And it's a very like, trendy place to be. It even has a little umbrella alley like a lot of major cities as well. Hey guys, so since we're in the area, we decided we'd stop here for lunch. There's a ton of restaurants doing just takeout since indoor eating is not allowed. And you can see around us, there's been a trend to just kind of take over some of the old outdoor seating and use it for eating. So we just want to show you what we got for lunch. So the first thing we got is a Shopska salad. And this salad is with tomatoes, cucumbers, and a special white cheese that's really popular in the Balkans. We love them, we get them every time we can. 
Next thing we got, this is Alyssa's. She got a chicken sandwich type thing. It was on the menu as white meat. And it has onions, a special cream sauce that they make here in Serbia, and chicken. And it looks so delicious. I got a very traditional dish called trivape. Trivape? And it's minced meat sausages, onions, and another cream sauce, and a flatbread. Can't wait to dig in. It looks so good. Okay guys, we just finished eating and oh my gosh. The food was amazing. So Serbia is really known for its grilled meat dishes and these did not disappoint. So juicy, so tender. The cream sauce on it was spectacular. Would go back again, 100%. If you're in Novi Sad, you need to go here because this food was unbelievable. Also, we just wanted to show you guys something. So they have these little popcorn stands everywhere across Serbia. I've heard they're everywhere in Serbia. They're adorable and it's a perfect little snack when you're out exploring. Hey guys, we wanted to show you this. It's the Novi Sad Synagogue. So while this is still an active synagogue, what's really cool about it is it's also used as an event space and they hold concerts here. So I thought that was really neat. Okay guys, next we're going to check out the Novi Sad Fortress. You can see behind us, have to cross a bridge to get over there. So we're gonna walk on across. the Novi Sad Fortress. See, it's a pretty big staircase behind us. And we're just gonna climb up to the top. See what we can see. Hey guys, we just made it to the top of the Novi Sad Fortress. It was quite a climb, but totally worth it. We just found ourselves a perfect little spot of grass. No one else is here, I'm not sure why, but we have to show you what we're seeing right now absolutely unreal just the most insane views so we're just gonna stay here and watch the sunset and enjoy a bevy hey guys so we just watched one of the most amazing sunsets we've ever seen and before it gets completely dark out we want to go explore the rest of the fortress with you guys so let's go Okay guys, we're walking around the fortress and we heard that there's supposed to be some catacombs here. So we're running around trying to find those. Hopefully we'll be there soon. Okay guys, so walking up here, the catacombs area has a wall all around it and it seems like it's the local hangout spot. People are up there drinking and singing very loudly. I don't know if you can hear this music, but this is like the entrance of the catacombs and they're really setting a mood for it. So this is kind of terrifying and if we die, uh, we have no regrets. So You'll never go. know because we won't post this. So, <laughs> Wish us luck. so we found one of the catacombs. And we're gonna see if it's unlocked. <laughs> kind of hoping it wasn't. Okay. Hope we don't so, die. Apparently, we're going down in here now. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, creepy, oh. might be the radio. Oh, damn. Whoa. Okay guys, we're in the catacombs. We're literally using my phone as a flashlight. If you come down here, make sure your phones are charged or you have an actual flashlight because it's pitch black down here and it's completely open, I guess, 24 seven for anyone to explore. It's really crazy. It's definitely a place you should probably come. Maybe go in the daylight because I am honestly terrified right Pro now. Tip, don't wait until the sun's down to go explore the catacombs. <laughs> but super cool. It looks like you can just explore as long as you want down here. I think they just go on forever. All right, we're gonna go explore some more and we'll check in with you in a minute. It's crazy. 
crazy. So creepy. A little tunnel area that goes up here. Let's see over here. I think we're gonna leave now because there's some bats up there. And we're back to safety. Oh, you can dramatically feel the difference in how hot it just got from how cold it was down there. Okay guys, so we're all finished up with the catacombs. We're about to head home soon, but I just wanted to say how crazy of an experience it was. They were super cool and amazing. And a fun fact about them is that they were used as military supply tunnels when the fort was active. Wow. Yeah, it's so cool. If you guys are in Novi Sad, you definitely have to check this one out. And as always, before we go, we're broke backpacking postgrads and everything we do is on a budget. So let's tally up what we spent in Novi Sad for the day. So the first thing we did was the morning market. Free. And then Danube Park. Free. Liberty Square. Free. We got some ice cream. 100 dinner. And then we went to Navska Street. Free. And then we went to Nagosheva Street. Also free. And then we got some lunch on Nagosheva Street. Which was 400 dinner. And then we went to Novi Sad Synagogue. Free. But you couldn't enter when we were there, so there might be a cost associated with that, but we're not sure. And then we came to the Petrovarden Fortress. Free. And we saw the catacombs. Also free. All right, so that is everything we spent on Novi Sad. In total, how much was it? 500 dinner, which is $6.26 Canadian. So Novi Sad is definitely a budget-friendly place to travel to. Hey guys, this concludes our video, a day in Novi Sad on a budget. We had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. As usual, if you want more information about our travels, you can check out my blog, The Backpacking Beauty, which I will link down below. I hope this video has inspired you to travel and helps you to plan your next adventure. As always, stay, stay safe and, and happy travels. travels.